the no frills flat boot. You're not going to be a city girl and not have a flat boot. Hola, New York City chic streetwear sleep. Your house for elevated streetwear. Autumn winters 2003 boot trends that you need to know about right now. Hashtag a la streetwear. Let's get into it, bitches. Numero uno. The extreme over the knee boot. All the it girls, the New York City it girls that love streetwear. This is exactly what we're going to be donning. This has like a city thing, you know, because here in New York City, your environment plays a big role when it comes to your fashion. Here we're always moving around. It's a hard city. We have a lot of uneven pavement. So we need things that are very durable. But this takes me straight into autumn slash winter when you're wearing so many bulky things and you wear some sleek, beautiful, extreme over the knee boots. It is the ticket to take you from mundane to party vibes straight into like the holidays, maybe Thanksgiving, things like that, depending how extreme you are. I love this trend. You can see it in Balenciaga. Bottega Veneta. This is to serve as inspiration for what's going to be out there. And I love this trend. I have this trend in my collection already. If you have it in your closet, bring it out because over the knee trend is going to be very sleek New York City streetwear way to take you from the runway to the brickway. <laughs> Psst. Numero dos. The no frills flat boot. You're not going to be a city girl and not have a flat boot. It just coincides. You just need it. That's the way we're going to get around. Honestly, just be straight up practical. But if you have that streetwear edge to you, you want to find one that's a little bit more minimalistic because it's just going to go with everything else in your wardrobe. Keep it black. Keep it simple, modern, contemporary styles. I mean, you can get the knee boot version. You can get an ankle version. You can get a over the knee boot version this has a tendency to go more grunge too if you want to go grunge but uh keep this in mind that this is something that we're going to be wearing a lot here in new york city it is just efficient practical very streamlined very minimalistic and when you're wearing your hoodies your denim with these sleek boots you're going to look very new york city sleek hashtag elevated street Dale un like, suscribe a mi canal for more elevated street style. Y dale la campana de notificación because it will notify you of my next video. Numero 3, the power platforms. You know I love this. And if you don't know, I'm telling you now, I love the platforms because I love fashion. I love style. And that's why you're here because you love it too. This is something that I don't see going away for a long time. I mean, let's just be honest. It's a more comfortable version of like a higher type of heel to wear because it just stabilizes you a little bit more you've been seeing this from like the valentino garavino for a couple of seasons now versace platforms are beautiful you can wear them with denim you tights you can wear them with skirts you can wear them with long dresses long skirts it doesn't matter it just elevates you it just looks beautiful streamlines you makes you look taller it's going to be all over the runway and on the new york city streets Numero cuatro, fiery red. If there's any color to pop on your crusty toes, <laughs> it would be red. Who doesn't love red, right? Like I love red. I love a red lipstick. I love how red looks on me. And red shoes is just going to elevate your streetwear aesthetic. No matter what city you're in, it's just gonna elevate it because, you know, we tend to go a little bit dark for the winters and so these pop-up colors are just going to really like ignite your color palette and bring it to life. Alexander McQueen has a sock version which looks so beautiful. Zara's, I mean, the red trend is going to be everywhere. You can wear red any season. At the end of the day, it's, still, it's just going to be classical. Numero cinco, metallics. Metallics to me, reminiscent of red when you just want to pop a color but now we're talking about shine this is a beautiful color to keep in mind for the holidays for like thanksgiving for christmas my birthday is coming up in december so if you want to think a little bit more shinier or you're looking for something more shinier then maybe you want to embark on the metallic trend i mean you're going to see this like one of my favorite is by kite because it has that metallic leather look but it's also minimalistic and very smooth and elongating beautiful and modern that is one that i would definitely rock if i could get my hands on it sam edelman they're going to be all over and i think it's a beautiful addition to your neutral palette 
to your dark color palettes. I mean, picture wearing like a creamy outfit, a heavy creamy sweater with creamy pants, and then you have these metallic boots. It's just gonna look so beautiful. And you can treat the metallic color as a neutral color, so it's not going to be something that's going to be difficult to work with. So keep that in mind. If you are looking to become New York City chic streetwear, which one is the one that you're eyeing?